Hello everybody and welcome back to another video, yes another one. And right here we've got a Belletti which is a mocha pot. Belletti is just an Italian make that I've been making these for quite a while so I thought I'd pick one up obviously when I'm going out and camping. So what I have done is for the jet boil I have bought a pot top. So I figured I'm always making tea in the jet boil and I, you know, I do like coffee and I don't really like just stirring it in the pot the stuff i kind of get is not is not that nice so i thought i guess something that's a bit more interesting a bit more fun when you're out and about this will serve two small pots but you could also have just you know one big pot out of it um they're 90 mil so they're only small like espresso pots but obviously you can kind of have like a full cup of coffee through this which i quite like it strong anyway so i've picked one of these up so let's just open it up see what we get inside i'm not too sure how to use one of these i've seen a couple of videos online and it looks pretty cool and i've kind of always wanted to get one so this is pretty nicely wrapped then we've got a little instructions manual here i'm assuming it's an instructions manual slash pretty warranty on top of that so it just explains what everything is and uh what is inside and let's open this up and uh, here it is our little pot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a little wash. It is covered in grease all over the threads and stuff like that, which is fair enough to keep them uh, kind of lubricating correctly. So you can see there's the inside. So these are the two sides. And then, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to give this a little wash and then we're going to give it a try out on the jet boil. So we'll probably go outside for that and uh, give that a go because I don't really fancy using a gas bottle inside. So... Without further ado, let's go and give this little pot a go and see how well it works and see how well it cooks. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to unscrew. And then we can see there's a filter. So we're going to take the filter out. Like so, and we're going to place our coffee in here. And then we're going to put some water in here. Now this is only a two cup, so it's not going to be a massive one. So hence why I don't have a massive cup. I don't really want to drink a litre of coffee like I know some of the sizes are. But this will do for me. So we're just gonna place some water inside, like so. Next, we're gonna take our filter and put some coffee in. This is already pre-ground coffee. So it shouldn't be a problem. I don't actually have a coffee grinder. Maybe I'll get one, maybe I won't. This is pretty easy though. It's already ground down pretty fine. And we're just going to fill this to the top. Excuse the spilling, I'm trying to film at the same time, so it's a bit awkward. And there we go. Again, this is not my neatest of work, but it'll do. And then we're just going to flatten it so it sits nicely. Try and keep some of it off the edge. And then this is basically just going to drop into our water. Like so. Now this is on top, move this a bit forward. We're basically just gonna, well, close this up first. My uh, amazing masking tape, that is crap. And then we are gonna screw the lid on. If we can get the lid to screw on, there we go. Right, and so these two are now ready. So let's just move this across, move this across. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the jet boil on. So you may not be able to see the flame, but you can bloody feel it, I'll tell you now. And then I'm just going to place the hob reducer on top. Now that is all good. We are basically going to place this on top as well. Try and get it on the centre of the burner. Obviously, if you don't need one of these reducers, you'll be all right. But obviously, I do. So I've got to try and get it as centre as I can on top of this reducer. Um, and obviously, there's a whistle at the side. It'll start whistling when it's starting to boil. Or you can obviously obviously lift the top up which we will try and do without knocking everything off and you'll see at the top the boil I don't want to absolutely blast it but it should be a good temperature and this is fresh so you will smell a little bit of burning and that's okay and to be fair the uh, hob 
top for the jet boil has not been used before either. Now as this burns, another good tip as a jet goes over is um, to pre-boil the water, some people recommend. So they'll recommend you to boil the water, pour it in the bottom and then go through this process. But with the way my burner set up I can't do that so I'm just going to be boiling the water straight up. And there she is. The uh, coffee is nicely pouring through. So we'll just let that finish pushing it all through. Obviously the water is going to go all the way to the end. As you can see some of it is actually leaking out the bottom. I probably didn't twist it as tight as I could have. <laughs> so that probably hasn't helped. As there is a water droplet bouncing around on the burner. And there we are. All done and ready. So let us just uh, cut the gas off. Let that fizzle through. And then we're going to close the lid. Don't spill it, for God's sake. And then, let's lift this off. Let's move the burner out of the way. That's going to be boiling. So, yeah, some lessons learned. I need a bit more heat as I was being very spurious. And let's pour it in. Ah, and there's a nice shot of espresso in there. Now I don't, I'm not a massive coffee drinker, but yeah, you can add milk, you can add water to it, whatever you need. So here is a little espresso shot. So this has been taking a look at the Bialetti. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been informative and I'll see you all in the next video.